A bill titled Fair Compensation for Truck Crash Victims Act was introduced by Illinois Representative Jesus G. Chuy Garcia on December 22, 2023. This bill states that a previous law that was passed called the Motor Carrier Act of 1980 created the requirement for commercial transportation drivers and the companies that own them to have insurance of either $1 million or some other minimum, with the intention of creating an incentive for these drivers and companies to operate with safe practices for both the good of themselves and the public. The requirement settled on at the time was $750,000. This minimum, with the affects of inflation in the field of medicine, is now equivalent to $5,193,665.62 as of the year 2020. This bill will amend United States Code Title 49, Section 31139, to now make that minimum $5 million. This number will also be reviewed quinquennially, which means every five years. This bill takes effect one year after it is passed. Primary impact, security and safety are some of the pillars of human needs, and this does not change just because we are moving down a paved highway at 65 miles per hour in a metal and glass box. Insurance is in place in the event that something happens. With insurance, we have the security in knowing we have the financial ability to recover, at least to a certain extent, from an accident, barring fatal ones. Even then, the financial compensation and restitution will be provided through insurance. This minimum requirement puts the burden and the solution of required safety with the companies that are operating on these roads alongside us. Secondary Impact – Inflation Increasing the required coverage of insurance by five times is going to incur an increase in cost to the company as well, how much is to be determined by the insurance companies. This cost will, as it should, be transferred to the people in the form of higher prices. I say that it should for the simple reason that these inefficiencies are being placed on companies of all kinds, both good and bad. The only logical place for them to offset these costs is through price increases, otherwise, the transportation of goods will be hindered, leading to more issues than just higher prices. Please refer back to the evergreen in the Suez Canal and COVID restrictions on global transport for examples of supply chain shortfalls and the aftermath. This does not include the other minimum requirement for hazardous or dangerous materials, which is already at $5 million. If they are looking to increase insurance coverages, this one will likely increase as well, if following the same pattern, will be around $35 million.